What was it like being the first woman to get a PhD in mechanical engineering from Caltech and to be the first female faculty hired in the mechanical and aerospace engineering department here at UCLA? So, yeah, so I, I go pretty far back. <laughs> I got my PhD in 1982 and uh, at Caltech, and actually I was the first woman to get a PhD in the field of mechanical engineering there. I didn't know that at the time. There were not very many women at all. Uh, but at Caltech, they had many fields that were a little like mechanical engineering, applied mechanics, engineering science, and so forth. And so there were a smattering of women in those other fields. But when I was an undergraduate here at UCLA, I got used to very quickly, um, when I started to take engineering classes, being the only woman or one of two or three or four women in a, in a class. Can you hear us OK? Um, and so when I got to Caltech, uh, when I started to take the early classes, there were maybe two of us, two female in a class of maybe 30 or 40. And then very quickly, I was the only one. And actually, I was kind of used to it by that time. Um, you stand out, of course, so everybody knows who you are, the faculty do, the students do. Um, I think I saw people as people, and um, I hope they saw me in the same way. So it wasn't a, a bizarre experience, but you, you definitely stand out. Um, and then to join the faculty here, after having been an undergraduate, there I had gotten offers from other universities, but this one seemed to be a very good fit for what I wanted to do, the kinds of fields I wanted to pursue in fluid mechanics and in combustion with propulsion and energy applications. And I was treated very well by my colleagues, um, and so that has been a very positive experience here. Um, the fraction of female students, though, has only drawn, grown very gradually here at the undergraduate level um, and very, very slowly at the graduate level. We don't have many female graduate students who are PhD students, actually, in aerospace and a little more, but not many more in mechanical engineering. Um, but what the biggest change I've observed actually has been in industry. I do a lot of work with folks in industry. I serve on boards for the um, United States Air Force and the Department of Defense. And in many companies, women really stand out. They're very articulate. They have a lot of experience. And they are valued. 